Jane Box Breaks 1018 on the 17th for breaking Bowman. Hobby case break number two. Big Frank going the first. Let's see what we get in the second here. Good luck to you. It's a long break, guys. That is odd. Yep, Joey Bart turn and Vlad Jr. We got Joey Bart and Vlad in this one. And then, guys, again, I'm going to have to turn it off and come back for three and four. So I get them list set up. I wanted to have it all ready, but I, just, I wasn't home. So, All right, let's go backwards this time. Or is that what we did last time? So, you know what? Franco would have been in the first box. That would have made the whole break boring after that. Because I think I kept them upside down last time. So let's keep going that way. I'm pretty sure that, that I had them upside down last time. If we would have hit that Franco in the first box, the, the rest of the break would have just been boring. All right, guys. Good luck. You have San Fran in all four, right, Xavier? I'll definitely get you one nice part. I hope. They said those guys, they've been coming out in hobby, not jumbo from what I've been seeing. I know they'll be in both, but you have a better shot to get them in hobby, I think. Just based off the posts I've seen today. But I'd say that Franker is probably 1200 right now. I don't know. Wesley, I don't know what he does with the cards. I think he's a collector. He'll probably grade it. I'm not sure. <coughs> yeah, we went from 18 down to 8. I guess it's getting late. What are they selling? What's he selling for right now, Xavier? What's Joey Bart's range on color versus his base? It's amazing that the Franco's base is selling for up to eight hundred dollars. Why would it? Why would a canary only sell for twelve? Like that's that shit bothers me. I don't understand that. I I think they should be selling for a lot more if the base is selling that high. It should be ten times the base. <laughs> Not ten times, but at least five times the base on it on an auto like that. I just think they're nicer. His base autos won't last that long though. Kyle Tucker, not that high. All right, we got uh, Fernando Tatis. So once people start posting them cheaper, they'll get returned. Franco. People return them. Rockies. That's why I hate high-end cards, like high-end hits like that, because if someone can get it cheaper, they're going to return it within 30 days. Go hard. It happens all the time. It's happened to me plenty of times. Oh, I got $10 cheaper. I'm returning yours. Do you plant the air? It's like, dude, part of the market. It changes. Call win. Kenzie. Oh, sorry, that was Dave Del Lugo. I mean, even a base. I mean, a base for two twenty five is pretty high. All right, starting off with a base auto for the Royals. We have a Brewer Hicklin, or sorry, uh, yeah, Royals. I said Brewer, but that's his name. Uh, going to Jason. Don't know anything about him. Couldn't tell you. But he bats 289, so he's probably decent. All right, we got Marciano. Pipeline for the Red Sox. Uh, it doesn't matter, Josh. They wouldn't return to eBay. We'll give it to the buyer, dude. Paddock, number 250. They'll still give it to the buyer. All you gotta say it was damaged, and they'll damage your card and send it back. Nick Sensel. You just see this guy I'm fighting with right now over 30 days. He's an idiot. He ain't getting his money back. Joe Adele. He bought this Kobe Bryant off for 500. He smeared it or something. Nate Pearson on Atomic in my pictures. It's encased. There's no smear. I think he I think he cracked the case open to grade it. They get a good grade because it's uh whatever that high-end Kobe product eminence was. And, uh, dude, he showed me pictures that the auto is so smeared. I'm like, first of all, why'd you wait 30 days to open He's like, I just opened it. It was 35 days. I said, I don't believe you. If I got a $500 package coming. I'm opening it right away. Acuna had a 150. I said, I'm not returning it, dude. Go fight it. Do all you want. 
Nick Maggie, I offer 30 day returns so I can get my discount. I'm like trout. I was like, my picture show no smears. He's like, you just took the photo weird so you don't see the smears. I'm like, no, bro. Your smudges are huge. You'd see it no matter how I took the photo. Uh, Mount Castle. I'm not taking that card back. It was perfect when I sent out to him. India. I'm not going to take it back and have to sell it for $200 now because he damaged it. Uh, Marte out of 499 But plus it's past the return policy, so I will be able to fight that. Urias. He can't file a return now. Like, who waits? Seriously, who waits 35 days to open a $500 package of one card? You'd open that shit right away. You, you have to be retarded not to. Because, God, I could have sent him a piece of a piece of paper at that point. Not that I would do something like that. But, I mean, I have 7,000, almost 7,000, 100% feedback. So why would I try and, and sell something that's not what's in the picture? Andrew who, Chuck? Andrew who? Oh. Oh, you bought them from Andrew. Okay. Well, thanks. I'll change it when we get there. I thought you said you bought them for him. I see what you're saying now. I couldn't remember who you had in three and four. Give me one second, guys. Okay. Man, I'm already getting tired because I'm not, I'm pretty sleepy today to begin with. <laughs> so I got another three and a half hours, to, about four more hours, to, or whatever it is, three more hours to go, guys. By midnight, no one's even going to be on watch. I'll be breaking Bowman by myself. It won't be the first time. Just be a boring-ass break to watch if you want to watch the whole thing. Oh, I wish I had an energy drink right now, Xavier. I know Xavier will be up the whole time with me. Chuck's a puss. He'll be he'll be asleep in no time. Rick will probably be up. Rick lives in California. Chuck Chuck will be up till about eleven thirty, and his old ass will fall asleep. <laughs> All right, guys, box two. So I wish I could have started this earlier, guys. Bad night for baseball. That's for sure. I really hate that every game, I have a game like every Wednesday on new release night. Sucks. But it's only till June. Kalnick. It's right around the corner. It'll be done before I know it. All right, Casey Mize and the Sterling. Got a Medina. There's like no regular refractors this year in this product. Lazardo. That means they should sell good. I think it was like that last year, too. I know you work at 5 a.m., Chuck. I'm messing with you. Justice Sheffield. Well, tomorrow at 2, I'm posting the Jumbo and the re and the, uh, and the uh and my last, uh, whatchamacallit, hobby. Uh, Royce Lewis. So don't complain, Chuck. I got to post them early so we can break them tomorrow night. Pablo Martinez. Because I can't do breaks Friday. Nationals Pipeline. I will post Flawless probably tomorrow, too, at some point, but it's not breaking until Saturday. Brian Anderson. I'm going to do a pick your teams on that instead of draft. I might do one draft since i got three cases now. Brandon McKay. Chance Adams. All right, Orange Shimmer for the Dodgers. A Dustin May, 20 of 25. Very nice. It's not his first Bowman by any means. Okay, I will, Chuck. All right. Holy shit out of 50. Urias for the Padres. There you go, Mr. Bobby. You took him saying, fuck it, and there you go. Fuck it. Money.
Well, there's a fuck it right there. <laughs> Sorry if kids are watching, guys. They should be in bed. Padres down. Very nice. We're on. Nobody wants the Padres. Last team to go. In case two. Mariners pipeline. And look. And look what happened. That means Vlad's going to come out in case three and four for Mr. B Mr. Joshua since he closed it out. Watch. Cole win number to 50 on the gold. So finally get some gold. We didn't get any gold in the first case. Forrest Whitley. We got a uh, Corey Ray. Atomic of uh, Cole Reagans. Again, if you got kids watching at 1030, I'm questioning your parenting. <laughs> They should be old enough to have heard that then if they're up at 10.30. All right, we have Brewer Hicklin, number 250 in the paper. We got a uh, Dylan Cease, or Dylan Case, whatever his name is, for the Yankees. Joey Bart. And Jimenez. It's a nice box, too. All right, let's have a hot case. Box three. Yeah. I've had people come to me, oh, my kid was watching, and you said the F word. I'm like, come on. It don't slip when you're when you're yelling at them because, listen, it slips when I yell at my kids. Oh, well. It's not like they're not going into school and hearing these little kindergartners saying the F bomb. My kid comes home and tells me all kinds of stuff. And I'm like, where'd you learn that? And he's in kindergarten. So, you know what? Oh, well. <laughs> We only curse when we get the big, nice hits or we're bitching about Dallas Cowboys and the Patriots. The only time we curse around here. <laughs> or someone's bashing my, my Eagles or my Phillies. And they're one of those two fans. Come on, baby. Let's keep it going. Wake me up. Wake me up. Man, it's going to be two cases of trash can. That sucks. That's a lot of trash. They're going to hate me next week. Watch, we'll break all these Bowman and Tops. Like, oh, we're doing a redemption for all the packs. You get these special edition autographs for the first thousand people. Watch. James. Hey, they want to give us another Urias auto. I'll take a double of that any day. So I like when Panini gives you a double. At least you get a freaking good-ass guy. You get a double in Tops and you never heard of the person. They'll be a dishwasher by the time they come. They won't even come up. Tukey. They know what they're doing when they make these cases, man. Peter Alonzo. They got to stop doing that. Cor don't correlate it like that. Just throw shit in randomly. Kobe Allard. I mean, you do see some loaded cases, which are ridiculous. But they should do that more often with other cards. Aaron Nola. Uh, that one's old. Uh, it says 2019 on it. He had that one like two years ago. All right, Brady Singer. Come on, paper. Stop sticking. I'm trying to get through this. Uh, pipeline for Texas. We got a Carter Kaboom to 49 for Washington on the paper. We got a Franco and a Sterling. All right, Kirloff is playing extremely well to 499 for the Twins. We got a uh, Brennan Rogers. Pipeline for Pittsburgh. Rizzo. I feel like he's in this every year with that same exact card. See a lot of shiny stuff. Let's hope for some color. I don't see color though. Diaz. Bunch of refractors coming up though. Patino. Can we have an I don't think they have atomic autos this year actually. Swaggerty. Atomic. Is there atomic autos this year? Or are they just doing canaries. Uh, 
Christian Stewart, uh, Urias, we have Victor Robles, Mitch Keller, Danny Jansen. Who the hell's our auto at tops? There he is, Mr. Darian Cruz <clears throat> for the Braves. On the chop. No idea who the hell that is, but congrats. Only hits 222, so I'm saying the scrub. You put yours to sleep with the mojo break, Sean. <laughs> Bill Smith. Mike Soroka. All right, guys, on the box four. That's funny. He, they really are boring, dude. No matter what guy they have on, I just, I can't, I can't watch them, dude. Like, I just, I don't know. A couple of my buddies who do breaks, a few are boring, but most of them are entertaining. And like, I try to be, but, you know, I'm trying to be enthusiastic about being live till 1 a.m. tonight. I'm not looking forward to it, but I'll do it. <laughs> so I got to, I got to just stay awake here tonight, but. But by case four, I'm probably going to be dead. Because I was already tired before I even got on. <laughs> I was like, damn it. It's Wednesday, isn't it? Like, if I would have started at six, I'd have been a lot okay with it. I would have posted more, and if we filled it, I would have broke it. But... <laughs> I haven't watched that yet, Xavier. I was going to put that on for my kids, but I didn't know if they would like it. Because it's actually on the kids section when I go under the kids one. I think they'd probably fall asleep. I watch that stuff. I watch all kinds of documentaries on stuff on uh, Netflix. There's a really good show in there called... Um, it's the French comedian guy, um, Dad. He's actually pretty funny. He uh, he made a show series. I don't know when it came out, but I just saw it for the first time. And he comes to America and like he just is, he just sucks. Like nobody cares for him. But uh, it's actually a really good series. It's I think only eight episodes for the first first season. I forget what it's called, but the, the, the guy's name is Gad pretty he's pretty well known in France it's based off his real life so it's funny all right guys box number four I just watched that series it was, it was pretty good all right we got a Edward Cabrera from Miami is that the big guy from Miami who's from Miami guys at a 100 so I guess I answered my question atomic autos do exist Miami going to Benjamin Who's the big guy on Miami? Is that him? I know there's one big guy. I don't know who the hell it is. I mean, fuck, is ERA uh, -E 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 for something? I doubt it's him. Well, you got a time to go there, Benjamin. I got you something for the Marlins. Brendan Rodgers. All right, Travis Swaggerty. Blue Chrome of Michael Baz, number two, 150. If we get an extra auto in here, Chris Bryant. We got a William Contreras out of 150 on the paper. I don't know who the big guy in the Marlins is. I forget his name. Pitchers never sell that high, so I don't even know why I even asked that question. That was stupid. So I don't follow these guys. I'll know in like a week who sells high. Libertor, he just by looking at eBay. So I'll base it off of uh, Pipeline of the Braves. We're going to get a super tonight, too. I know it. Justice Sheffield. Probably be that guy from the Marlins. Yeah, Victor Victor. That's right. Victor Victor. All right. We got uh, Michael Baz. Brent Honeywell. Brennan Lowe. Who names their kid that? Victor Victor. Oh, and there's Sanchez. There's Sanchez. Sanchez is selling. Dave has got it. Sanchez is the one selling high. 
All right, Colton Welker to 125. Victor Victor even in this? All right, Vlad Jr. Marlins are Marlins are actually a good team to buy for once in this product. Kirloff, they usually just are trash and everything. They're actually a good team to buy. All right, Dane Dunning on the Atomic. That's what it is. It's Sanchez. Yeah, Sixto went there too, but I don't. No, it's not Sixto Sanchez. No. I thought it was a different guy. I don't know. I I, I honestly can't tell you. Jake Cave, uh, 25 on the paper. I don't know who it is. Sixto Sanchez, does he have an auto in this? I don't think he does. Seth Beer. I got to look at the checklist again. It's been days since I looked at it. Dakota Hudson. I kind of just average my pricing with a lot of other people. Alvarez. Like I said, the pricing, pricing in a week is going to be retarded for everybody, but I'm going to keep mine the same. Urias. I said Jumbo's not going to be that much more than this. Florio. Jimenez. Pipeline for the Angels. All right, guys, that's it for box four. Box five. Yeah, the two main guys, Sean. They're they're terrible, dude. That, that's who I always see on. They're absolutely atrocious. I don't know. I guess people just fill them because they, they know that's going to break that day. I mean, that's the thing. People are just antsy, and they just want to break that day. So they'll fill whatever. That's when you know you have a gambling problem. <laughs> like, I'll sit and wait a day or two. Like, it doesn't bother me. It's when you got to wait a week. Like, sometimes it happens. People don't want to get in the product. They're saving their money for something else. And it sucks, but it is what it is. Like, our last Gypsy Queen took forever, and it was our best Gypsy Queen case we had. It actually hit extremely well. Oh, okay. Well, James, you know why, and, and a lot of people don't know this, you do know why people in Cuba are so good at baseball. You do you do know that roids are 100% legal there, right? So when the players sign here and come here, they're on roids still. It takes probably six months to get out of your body. They're allowed to be on it because they, what are they going to do? Ban them from playing? They were allowed to take it there. So, like, I always use this as a perfect example. Jose Abreu came over. And before he got hurt, he was monstering home runs like no other, clobbering him out of the park. And everyone was like, oh, my God, he's so great. As soon as that six months was gone, man, he came back from that injury. That little injury he had, he couldn't hit a home run for a whole month. And he, he hasn't done shit since. It's because when he came over here, he had roids in his system. No wonder he was crushing the ball five, 600, 500 some feet every night, dude. It was retarded. And a lot of people don't know that, that he was on them. Like, you're legally allowed to have them, so why wouldn't you be on them? <clears throat> so, that's the thing with Cuban players. you got to be careful when you sign them, Mount Castle, because you don't know their true talent. Brandon Marsh. Isn't one dude in this signed at, like, isn't he, like, 17 in the minors or something? Kelnick. I thought he had to be 18 to be in the minors. You got a Nolan Gorman. Yeah, Cespedes is the same exact way. Yeah, exactly. Cespedes can still hit the ball, though, Tavares. He's just not as good as he was when he first came. He's still a solid ball player, though. Astros pipeline. He's definitely not anywhere close to what he was and supposed to be. Jackson Kowar. But that's how all the Cuban players end up being, do Plantier. They None of them ever actually pan out. <laughs> George Foreman. Well, Xavier, I understand. There's a difference between talent of hitting a ball and a talent of having power. I understand that. I agree that steroids should be allowed in baseball. I think it makes the game better. I like to watch home runs. Kyle Tucker. Uh, when McGuire, Sosa, went down that thing, dude, baseball was exciting. It brought baseball back. Baseball was going out the door at the time. Jason Grom. MLB knew they were on it. Barry Bonds, they knew they were on it. Kenzie, it's funny how they started testing later. When they, all the money came back, Lugo, they've been around for a long time in baseball, man. No one ever gave a shit. And then all of a sudden, they made a, such a big deal about it when someone leaked. What was it? Freaking, uh, 
douchebag from uh, Rafael Palmero. Had to leak it. There we go. Kyle Tucker to 499, baby. Go to Andrew. Very nice. So far, good case. I'll take it. Way better than the last case. See what happens when Franco's not in the case? Jeez. Sean Murphy. All right, we got Medina number to 125 for the Phils. For the Twins, we got a pipeline. All right, McKenzie. Atomic of Matt Mercer. All right, that's what I like to see. Make me excited to keep breaking tonight. Blake Snell. Purple of uh, Ian Anderson at 250 in the per on the paper. McSensel. And Brennan Rogers. All right, guys, on to box number six. Box number six. Keep them going. Oh shit, that's a. I didn't realize Kyle Tucker had a rookie auto in this. I thought that was an insert auto. <laughs> you still talking about that, Xavier? You know what I want to see? Speaking of Lions, as that new Lion King movie when that shit comes out, dude, the Disney. It's this in Aladdin. Disney's kill, killing it right now with their new movies coming out. I haven't seen Dumbo. Do they use a real elephant in Dumbo? Like, it actually makes me want to go take my kids and, and, and see the Disney movies. I usually hate Disney movies. The fact they're using real lines in The Lion King, I mean, obviously a lot of it's computerized, but it's, it's just phenomenal. It's really, really cool. Man, my hands are already getting tired from opening this. It's not a good sign. Yeah, I think I think because they have real hyenas in it, Xavier. I think, dude, I was watching previews of it. It looks, it looks awesome, dude. Like I, I'm down. I'll go see. I'll go see it on a date. I don't even give a shit. <laughs> What's 16, Sean? I don't know what note 16 is. I don't know what you're answering to. Yeah, like I wanted to see Dumbo. I don't know. I think it's still in the theaters. If it rains all day Saturday. Uh, well, no, no, no. I know you can sign at that, you know, at, at Sean, but I thought that minors, you had to be 18 to go in. I guess not. So 16 and going into minors, that's pretty. That's pretty. Because there's one guy, I don't remember his name. He's, he killed it last year and he was in the minors. I don't remember who it was. Nate Pearson. It might have been Franco. Isn't Franco only like 17 years old? Bo Bichette. It might have been him. Kyle Wright. All right. We got uh, Carter Kaboom. That's who it was last year. It was Franco. Age 17. Killed it. Victor Jr. is 16. Well, steroids also give you... Give you power too, Sean. When you're hitting a when you're hitting a ball 500 yards, and then you're only hitting at 300, it steroids make a difference there. Chaz Chisholm, it does help prolong your health too in terms of uh, playing. Brewers pipeline until you get older, then your body just shuts down. But Nick Sensel, White Sox. But you can see what roids have done. I mean, when they're when the guys get off the roids, they they don't hit home runs anymore. So it does make a difference with that. But in terms of hitting the ball, Barry Bonds is already hitting it before the Roids. I don't even know why he took him Cliver. I think it was just to get his body playing longer, to be honest. Lazardo. I mean, people always claim that Barry Bonds is the biggest Roid user ever. Hayor, because of his head. I mean, it did get big. Uh, Chris Shaw. I still think Trout's using something with his big-ass neck. But you got to understand, once he started hitting all them home runs, like 
He's still the all-time home run leader, and he got intentionally walked three to four times a game. Like, could you imagine if he wasn't walked all those times? He'd have probably over a thousand homers. There's that Avocado kid, number two ninety-nine for the Yankees. He got walked so much, Tatis. But he was already a Hall of Famer before he took the roids. I don't, I just don't know why they even keep him out of the Hall of Fame. Meha. I think he gets in next year though. The same with Clemens. They don't want to put Clemens in, but he beat it. He beat it in court, whether he took him or not. He beat it. Why can't he be in the Hall of Fame? Dylan Cease on the Atomic. He's one of the best pitchers of all time. Well, we're out of 499. Jacob DeGrom on the paper. Forrest Whitley. All right. And Ryan Costello, refractor out of 499. Nice hit. Twins going to Jason. Yeah, like you don't know what these people were taking, man. It's like. You don't know if they ever hit a ball 500 yards, Xavier. Bullshit, they haven't. Joe Carlos Staten has hit over stadiums. You can't really measure how far the ball goes, dude, because if it hits something, it hits a fan, a fan catches it. You, you can't really measure that. Staten's hit it over the stadium. Uh, in Pittsburgh, you hit it over the stadium and it goes in the water, so you can't really measure it. Austin Riley. Nolan Jones. In golf, they don't measure the hit. They measure it after the bounce. At 250, Jay Grom. So, imagine if it hits the concrete, kept bouncing. Pablo Martinez to 150. Madigal. I'm trying, Josh. The only way I can skip is by going through this one first. <laughs> I bet you I bet you they have hit the ball 500 yards. Dude, you smash that thing upper deck. If the upper deck wasn't there, the ball would keep going, Xavier. That's what I'm trying to tell you. The stadiums aren't big enough to hit 500 yards. But anyone that hits the ball over the stadium, it's, it's, it's way over 500 yards. Stanton, of all people, has hit it over 500 yards. Frank Thomas is banging them out of the stadium. I, I watched him doing Canem yards. Yes, these players can hit over that. You know what I mean? Feet. Whatever, Xavier. Shut up. You know what I mean? I, I hate you right now. Don't mess with me, dude. I'm half asleep. It's 10.50. We still got two and a half cases left. Eat a dick. <laughs> now I know why you're saying that. I hate you. <laughs> you're an idiot. Shut up. Yeah, I know why you're arguing with me. I was going to say, home run derby alone has been... I think Stanton hit one over that, didn't he? They really can't measure it in baseball. Like I said, there's there's too much interference. You hit, you, you hit a fan. The fan catches the ball. It could have kept going. <laughs> Ivan who? I don't know who you're talking about, bud. I must have missed what you were saying. You don't have Von Rodriguez? I hate him. <laughs> he'll never. I don't think he'll ever get in the Hall of Fame. Wasn't he one of the ones that did the steroid thing too? I still think steroids give you power, Sean. It's been proven that it does juice you up. I mean, how else do you explain Sosa and McGuire? Come on, man. They juiced up and they were killing it. Especially if all... But it turned Sammy Sosa white. <laughs> that was his effect from taking roids. He turned white for God's sakes. <laughs> yeah, lifting with the roids. But I'm, it still has to do with the roids, man. Pablo Martinez. You're not going to get those muscles without lift, without the roids. You can argue all day. I agree they should be able to use it. Daz Cameron. I personally don't care. It don't bother me. Boba Shet. I'm a true baseball fan. Don't bother me. Kyle Wright. Now, Chuck was on. Chuck will argue until he's blue in the face that roids are stupid in baseball, and I, I don't agree with him. He calls Barry Bonds a cheater. Barry Bonds was a Hall of Famer before he ever took him. All right, we got Nick Sensel. A-Rod's A -Rod's performance went down after he got pinned for it. Perdugo. Pipe by the Marlins. He got snapped twice, didn't he? He'll never get in the Hall of Fame. Anthony Siegler to 49. But since he's a Yankee, they probably will put him in the Hall of Fame. Now, 
He wasn't a Yankee forever, but. Uh, Michael Coppich. He doesn't deserve. He got hit twice, I'm pretty sure. Texas and Seattle, right? Pipeline for the Blue Jays. No, he got hit as a Yankee, didn't he? And uh, Yankee in what? Texas? Mitch Keller, right? In the beginning, he got hit. I thought. Kyle Tucker. His performance definitely went down to his last suspension. Hayora. So I do think I do think it does give you some extra power. But I agree with you on the skill part. You gotta have a skill set before you take the roids actually hit the home run. Tatis. Paddock. All right, Joey Wentz on the atomic. Did he, Sean? Harper has his moments, man, but he's definitely not worth the money we paid for him. I'll tell you that. He strikes out way too much. And there's a couple times that uh, Aaron Judge, we needed him. But base is loaded and he pops up or something. Chris Shaw to win the game. I, I don't have faith in him. I don't think he's playing terrible, but for the money we paid him, he ain't, he ain't worth that. All right, San Fran, we got Logan Webb, the 250 on the purple. Don Xavier. He's like, where's my Joey Bart, you asshole? Yeah, the metal bat. You know, I remember seeing that video, Xavier. Well, no shit, it kills you, Chuck. We all, we're all we not arguing that, but it does make the game. It does make the game that much better. I don't care what it does. That's their choice to do it. And I enjoy watching it when they were on roids. Riley. It brought it, it literally brought the game back. The game was dying. Blair. It wouldn't have lasted without those guys doing it. I mean, point blank. I always liked it, but people stopped paying to go. Peter Lonzo to put it on the paper. It did. It got boring after a while. Alright, guys. Box uh eight. Case two. Still got two more cases to go tonight. We're gonna be live till two in the morning at this point. And if you guys would rather break the other two tomorrow, I can do it tomorrow. I know some of you want to go to bed. If not, I'll break it tonight. I don't care. Either way, I'm here. So it's up to you all. I know there's some people that are going to bitch they want it done tonight. So, I mean, I'll do it tonight. I just hope I'm not the only one left here. Because I, I won't be able to make it through it if, if I don't have anyone to talk to. <laughs> I'm just, just being honest with you. Well, Bagwell's in the Hall of Fame, Jock. So he never got hit for hit for roids. As you get older, buddy, you're gonna you're gonna drop. You're gonna drop. You either get fat or you get skinny. Like Nolan Ryan blew up. Uh, Bonds dropped a lot. He just has his big ass head still. I mean, those guys don't work out like they used to. Bagwell, Bagwell was on roids. He got in the Hall of Fame. I know for a fact he was on roids. Yeah, Josh, I'm fading too, bud, but I got to do what people want, man. I mean, I'd be able to start at 8 tomorrow, but that's the earliest I can do it. I can't, I can't break Bowman with my kids. It's too it's too long of a break. They won't, they won't sit here and be good the whole time. I mean, Jumbo, we would probably be done by now. These just take longer because there's 24 packs to open. I gotta actually shift through all the damn paper. Do me a favor, Xavier. Right on the post for three and four. Let's take a let's take a poll of who's in that break. If they want to break it tomorrow, or they want to break it tonight. Because it's gonna we're not gonna be off here until probably two in the morning. Either way, I don't care. I'll do what you guys want. Grace Rodriguez. I just know some people want to watch the break. They're not, it's going to be a while. You're in Alvarez. Urias. I thought we'd already be on to uh, the next cases by now. Uh, Christian Pache. This hobby just takes a while. It sucks. And there's guys that probably take longer than me doing it. Reading every card out. Matt Manning. I don't know why some chrome are upside down and some aren't pipeline cardinals in this case. It's really weird. Juan Soto. 
Brendan Rogers. I mean, if you're going to stay awake, Xavier, so I got someone to talk to, I'll do it. Furious. I'm stuck here by myself, man. It's going to be fucking boring. It's happened before, Brandon Lowe. All right, Aidman. Okay, Nick Sensel, blue, number 150 on the wave. It's weird. All the chrome are upside down in this box. Most of it, anyway. All right, Jimenez on the Atomic, number two, 150. Got a Vlad Jr. We got a Perez. We got a uh, Darian Cruz Atomic. All right, now Rick's talking. Okay. Hey, man, I don't mind. Like I said, it's got to turn this off to get set up for that with the Chucks. And... All right, we have a Tommy Romero for the Rays, Tampa. Going to Wesley. So don't don't make that post on them. We'll do it tonight. I don't mind. Like I said, I'm in for the long haul. I already know posting four was stupid on my end. But I forgot I had a game, a baseball game today. Because I would have started earlier. I would I would have been able to start at 6. 6, 6.30. All right, Mackenzie Gore. I totally forgot. I saw next week's schedule was on, on, I think, Tuesday, Friday, Saturday or something for the game. So I thought it was this week. Taylor Trammell. Brent Honeywell, Christian Stewart, don't matter to me, next year hit, Will Stewart for the Phillies, number to 150, blue, going to Sean, that's what I like about Hobby, you always get extra hits, you never see that in Jumbo, it's very rare, you might get a 5 auto box here and there, but in Jumbo, this kid's actually good. I don't know why he was drafted, though. Uh, we signed him in 2015 as a free agent, but he was like a, a one ERA last year. It's actually a really good, really good pitcher. It's a nice hit, Sean. All right, Griffin Canning. Pipeline for Detroit. All right, guys, four to go. Yeah, I agree. I mean, I like, uh, I like whatchamacallit. I like Citizens Bank Park. I'm glad it's a small park. It just makes it more exciting to go there and watch games. But the craziest part is the Phillies hit a lot more home runs there than a lot of the opposing teams. I mean, obviously they play there. A lot more, but you think opposing teams would be able to take advantage of that. Same with Washington. Washington's just like Citizens Bank Park. I like the smaller bar parks, to be honest with you. I, I just think it it helps the game better. Brady Anderson. God, you're going way back. I thought Brady Anderson got popped for roids. Didn't he get popped? He had like one good season of his career. Superstar season, anyway. <coughs> yeah, I heard that about him, Chuck. I heard he's a real asshole with, with autographs. Because he was, like, in the Dykstra days, dude. Thought he was hot shit. That's how Dykstra was for a long time. Dykstra was an asshole. Signing autographs. Now he's cool. He don't care. A lot of the guys in the 90s were. <laughs> Uh, we'll do it tonight, Sean. We'll bring we'll bang him out tonight. That way we can, because I got two more to post tomorrow. They'll probably fill tomorrow night. I'd rather, to be honest, I'd rather just do two tomorrow night. We'll do it tonight. Yeah, Cano's not doing shit now either. But Cano's also old, Xavier. Isn't he in his mid thirties? How old is Cano? He's got to be in his, I want to say he's in his mid-30s. Uh, maybe he's not, actually. Is he? Yeah, he's a, isn't he in his 30s? He's getting up there. All right, we got Acuna. 
Corbin Burns. Pipeline of the Cubbies. You got a Jordan Alvarez. I don't even know where Cano's at now. Uh, Lizardo. Where, where is Cano now? I don't even know. Justice Sheffield. He's not in Seattle anymore. I thought they got rid of him. Casey Myers. I haven't heard nothing about him in a long time. Since he got popped, really. Brandon McKay. It's a letdown because Cano was a great player. It's a shame that he uh, started roiding up, man, and got caught. Chance Adams. He's a good, solid ball player. All right, we got Roberto Ramos. Second goal. This one's a shimmer. Rockies. Going to Chris. So, Roberto Ramos. Don't know who that is. But, 269 average with 32 homers. He's a hitter. That's probably a good hit. 32 homers last year. Yeah, that's right. He's on the Mets. That's right. I forgot about that. That's stupid. Now you go. Why would you give up Kelnick for him? Trevor Stefan. I know you as a Met. Oh, you're. Wait, are you. Xavier, are you a Mets? No, you're. No, you're a Chuck. You're a Braves fan, right? It's a stupid move to give up Kelnick for him, to be honest with you. All right. Well, this case is definitely hitting better than the last one. In terms of uh, color. Sanchez. There's literally no refractors in this product at all this year. Adam Hazley. Probably because they changed it to all this atomic crap. Now, I know you're a Reds fan, Xavier. I, was, I, I meant to say Chuck. Chuck's a Braves fan, I'm pretty sure. All right, 250, we got Rutherford. We talk about it all the time. I, just, I can't remember everyone's teams all the time. Pretty sure he's Braves. Maya. I don't know why you live in Jersey and you're a Braves fan. No, it makes no sense to me. So my buddy Pete lives here. He's a lives in Delaware, Cabrera, and he's a Green Bay fan and a freaking and a freaking da uh, Marlins fan. I'm like, how are you a Green Bay and Marlins fan? And then his wife likes Dallas, and then he likes the Sixers. Seth Beer, number to 125, very nice for Houston. That doesn't even make any sense. That's one screwed up family. <laughs> Tani. Jimenez. Brennan McKay. All right, guys, three to go in, in case two. Yeah, you know Mets because you you live out there. You probably hear it all the time. I don't care. We just took two out of three for the Mets. I'm pretty happy with that. Well, yeah, I mean, I understand. I grew up watching them, too, Chuck, and I loved them. I mean, Chipper's probably my most favorite Brave ever, but Maddox is my favorite pitcher of all time growing up. I've still never been a Braves fan. <laughs> I go with my local team. I mean, I root for the Orioles, but I grew up a huge Cal Ripken fan. But my team's the Phillies. Yeah, Chipper is one of my favorites growing up, too. My all-time favorite pitcher was Maddox. I mean, I was a big Emmett Smith and... And Troy Aikman's fan growing up, but I wasn't a Dallas fan. <laughs> you know, just because you like players, you got to stick with your home team. You can still enjoy them now. I did have a Marlins starter jacket, though, growing up because it was the first inaugural, inaugural year for them, and my neighbor bought it for me. So I did have a, a Marlins starter jacket in 19, I want to say 93 is when they came in, right? <laughs> I was in grade school. I got made fun of for that one. It's when starter jackets were the shit. It was one of those like pullover windbreaker ones that was semi heavy. Man, I wish I would have kept that thing. It's probably worth so much money now. The throwback version. I still can't believe what they signed Acuna for. Acuna is a. Acuna is now a billionaire out in the Dominican. Don't get me wrong. It's a lot of money for that island. But my God, the kid, his agent sucks. Why, why, why did he get so so less money? Oh, I love Rupkin going up. Show him. One of my all-time favorites, man. 
I never had one of them, Xavier. I grew up with a single mom. I didn't get all that cool shit. I always wanted to. What? What did you do? Parks just heat a live bet the Phillies. Uh, yeah, they blew that. They blew it. I know what you're talking about. All right, that game. I was watching it. Hey, man, Phillies are still playing hell of baseball. Alonzo. The fact they're scoring eight to ten games of freaking uh, runs of games is unheard of. Could be Allard. Uh, Lindor. I can't. I can't say nothing bad about them. It wasn't Albie's Chuck. Acuna got signed for like nothing, dude. What did he sign? How much was it a year? It was like twelve a year or something low. That's funny, Xavier. They'd be worth a lot now too. Fernando Tatis. All right, I guys get distracting me. <laughs> Might see some orange chrome coming up here. Pipeline of the Orioles. We got Chris Bryant. Yeah, they both could have, dude. Out Acuna signed for like dog shit, but like I said, he's Dominican, so the money's worth. I think Albie's is too, right? Uh, it's, I mean, it's a lot of money for them. Will Smith, they're not used to it, but their agents could have done so much better for him. Taylor Widener. Here comes some orange. Can it be an auto? It's going to be for the Cubs. Nope. Amaya, number 25. Regular orange, at least. Not a shimmer. Uh, Matthias. Yeah, eight. So, so a hundred million, eight years. What's that? 12 million a year. What a waste, man. I mean, that's, that's just un unbelievable. Yeah, and Albies is a good player. Seven or eight for $34 million? Like, that's that's a rape charge. Garcia to 125 You're going to sign him that long term, dude. Pay the kids. Diaz. I mean, they're young. They'll still have time left after that. Royce Lewis. Number to 50, Jonathan Hernandez on the paper. Texas. Abacedo, or I see uh, whatever his name is. For the Yanks. Uh, they both have a two-year option. I'd opt out, man. All right, Brad Keller to forty-nine on the paper. I, I would get a, I would go get Scott Boris as my agent. <laughs> Julio Pablo Martinez, at least Acuna can. I'd fire them in a heartbeat. Diaz. I know that's what I'm saying, Chuck. But uh, but I'm saying, but Acuna's like a superstar, man. Rookie of the year, and that's what you pay him, Miss Keller. How do you pay a rookie of the year that? Danny Jansen. All right, Vince Fernandez, number 49. Rocky, strike again. Going to Chris. So two Rockies has a gold shimmer and a refractor. This is a shame. Bryce Trang. Pipeline for the Indians. And that's all she wrote for that one, guys. Two left. Pretty decent case. Furious Gold and the Kyle Tucker. Rookie uh, refractor all over the best. Uh, players can't. I don't know. I Like I said, their agents should just be fired. Those are two young... I mean, I really think that uh, if, if Acuna wasn't on a team, last year Albies was the best Braves player. So... Without Acuna, I think Albies would have been better. Albies got shadowed last year. He was a shadow last year. But I think Hoskins would have gotten Rookie of the Year then. Yeah, they got to negotiate something, Chuck. That's, they got to feel like a slap in the face. But like I said, they come from poor countries. So I'm not sure if Albies is from the Dominican, but I know, I'm pretty sure he is too. But I know uh, Acuna is almost positive on that. Um, they're, they're, billi they're billionaires out there, so it don't matter. I mean, to them, that's a lot of money, but still, I, he could have gotten twice that. Acuna could have gotten like 150 mil. Easy. Yeah, Albies is great, Xavier. He sells for shit because of Acuna on the team. He's his shadow. It's like Scottie Pippen and Michael Jordan. Pippen sold for shit and Jordan sold, sells for a ton. <laughs> when you look at the two differences.
Albie's, Albie's is good, man. I think long term he might be better. I think he'll play better long term. They're both good. They're both great ball players. It scares me being a Phillies fan. I got to deal with them for the next 10 years. Oh, uh, is, is he Venezuelan? That's pretty close, Chuck. What are, you know, that, that's almost the same. The same poor country. All right, I thought he was Dominican for some reason. Wow, they're getting 20 to 30% from them, too. That's, that's just a shame. Poor guys. Well, I mean, they say yes or no, too, so... All right, Libertori, number to 50 on the gold. They say yes or no, too. Forrest Whitley. I could have thought he, I thought he was Dominican for some reason. Vlad Jr. You got Jesus Sanchez. Which, guys, I am going on vacation from the 6th to the 13th, I believe. Marcus Stroman, 250 to Vegas, so there will be no breaks, obviously. And then August... Uh, Second through the ninth, I'll be in a Dominican, so there won't be any. So for Topps Chrome, I'm gonna have to do it when I get back. I'm not gonna be here. Uh, I'm not gonna be here. Uh, Sixto Sanchez for Topps Chrome release week. I'll be here the following. All right, very nice, Brady Singer to 299 for KC. Not a huge hit, but good ball player. Going to Jason. We're getting a shit ton of color in this case, though. I'll tell you that. So I will not be around for Topps Chrome release week. It's the only week I could take a second vacation where I don't have the kids. Garcia, I did not want to take one that week. It's also the same week in Nationals, AJ Puck. I was debating on doing that or the Dominican. I was like, I'd rather go back to the Dominican. <laughs> See, that's funny. Ryan Velotti, the 499 on refractor. Greater all. Blue paper of Groom, number 499. We got Christian Pasha. I didn't really take a vacation last year. I never went to France, but it was for, for my brother's wedding. It really wasn't a fun vacation. So I got to gotta have fun this year. All right, Lazardo. All right, Justice Sheffield. Got to start using my vacation package I bought two years ago. Wonder Franco. First time using it. Sad. Justice Sheffield. Andrew Jones. I got an, hey, Chuck, I got an autograph hat of him somewhere. Uh, Braves hat. <laughs> Pipeline of the D-backs. I did have that hanging in my house. Uh, Pipeline for the A's. He was one of my favorite players growing up, too. All right, Kershaw. I mean, baseball, I have all kinds of stuff hanging up in my house. All different teams, but... Jimenez. He was one of my favorites growing up, too. Boreal. Brandon McKay. And we got a chance Adams. All right, guys. One box left. Pretty solid case. Especially on the color. A lot better than the last one. Yeah, I forgot about Andrew Jones, too, until I just said it. Yeah, he was... Dude, Andrew Jones had a glove, man. He definitely did. He was definitely a gold glover multiple times, I'm pretty sure. <coughs> what did he do? Sign eight by ten, signed it all my signed it oh all my balls instead of all my best. <laughs> That's funny, Chuck. I'm sure he did it on purpose. Dude, I'm so sick of people complaining about IP autos and how to get the, the inscriptions off. The player signs like that, they're doing it because they don't want you to sell it. You need to stop doing that crap. Yeah, 10 time gold glove. I was going to say, because he was always in the gold glove breaks from TriStar that I used to break. And I remember pulling a glove and it said something like that. He, he had a lot. I don't remember how many total, but now you just told me 10. He's definitely a freaking good-ass outfielder, that's for sure. Guys, it doesn't echo or anything right now, right? Because my desktop audio keeps showing it's on, but it's not on my screen. 
ever since I plugged in that other thing to my speaker, the horn. Does it still sound the same? Just want to make sure there's no echo. I mean, obviously on replay I could watch. I never watch my replays though. I don't really care to rewatch them. All right, guys, last box and then sign off and do three and four. You know, give me like probably like twenty minutes. So I gotta do a list, redo the list and shit, and get these starting to upload. All right, thanks, Xavier. I just wasn't sure. All right, we got Bryce Wilson. Because if I leave my my speaker on and I don't have that thing plugged in, it echoes like crazy. I don't hear it, but you guys do. Do plenty here. Kyle Tucker. We got Jimenez. <laughs> Glad Co Glove Clove. <laughs> That's funny, man. I wonder if he's just illiterate, Chuck. Maybe he is. Alex Rays. Got uh Padres in the pipeline. Maybe he's just illiterate, dude. Or he just signs so much. Look at Allen. He just scribbles and it looks like that. Trish McKenzie. Why, wow, where's Andrew Jones from? Lugo. I thought he was American. He's not? All right. We got uh, Tomito Augustine, Washington. No idea who the hell that is. Let's go on you, Wesley. 273 average with six hammers. Ooh, that's a big mosquito. How'd you get in here, you bastard? Man, that thing's going to get me later. I know it. All right, uh, Alex Schreff. Pipeline for Kansas City. Not the auto we want to end with. Come on, be an extra auto here. Let that mosquito go. I don't want him to get me. Fucker's hurt. All right, Lediade Tavares. Number one, he's selling high out 299 for the Rangers. Nick Sensel. Eddie Brent Honeywell. Tomica Royce Lewis. All right, Gio Carlos Stanton, 150 on the paper. We got a Joe Adele. Bo Bichette. Uh, Mount Castle. We got a uh, DL Hall. We got a Cabrain Hayes, number 250 on the Chrome. Kyle Tucker. And out 25, Dylan Cease for the White Sox. All right, guys, let's do the uh, 30 eye break credit recap, and then I'll log off and log back in here shortly, and we'll do three and four. All right, take you to my screen. Okay, so we got D-backs. Striking out tonight. They actually have a good checklist in this. Orioles, White Sox, Cubs. We did get something nice for the Cubs. Uh, Indians, Tigers. Tigers. Uh, Angels. Dodgers. Mets. Yankees. Hearts. Mariners, Cardinals, Rangers, and Blue Jays combo. All right, Blue Jays, Rangers, Cardinals, Mariners, Pirates, uh, Yanks, Mets, Dodgers, Angels, Tigers, Indians, Cubs, White Sox, Orioles, and D-backs. I think higher than four guys, four lower, do a re-roll eight times again. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Indians this time, which is Rick. So you want to use it, buddy. Thirty dollar break credit. And for our recap, a lot better than the first case, but we can still do better. All right, we had a uh, Tomito Augustine for Washington. Brady Singer to two ninety nine on the Canary. Vince Fernandez refractor to four ninety nine for the Rockies. 
Roberto Ramos, number to 50 in the gold shimmer for the Rockies. Will Stewart for the Phillies, which is a decent hit out of 150 in the blue. Tommy Romero for the Rays. We got Logan Webb for San Fran, number to 250. Ryan Costello, uh, number to 499 on the um, Refractor Auto for the Twins. Nice Kyle Tucker to 499 on the Refractor Auto. Edward Cabrera, number to 100 for the Marlins on the Atomic. Darian Cruz for Atlanta Braves. Luis Urias, our biggest hit of the case out of 50. And we had a Brewer Hicklin for Kansas City. All right, guys, give me like 10 or 15, 20 minutes. I'll have the other one set up. I'll tag you when I'm live. And we'll break three and four. Appreciate it. Talk to you soon.